What is up, my people? It's your boy, Kai Reese. I'm live on YouTube today because StreamYard is something else. Um, new, for the new people that end up watching this on the replay, um, this is a fun little platform I created up in here um, for the good people that could sit down. We could talk about our favorite soap operas and laugh and have fun. Trust me, this won't bore you after a while. It will not because we got lots to discuss about. Um, this is a good escape. We do this every night at 10 p.m. Well, not every night, Monday through Friday, usually. And then with, with special times on the weekend, we'll do that on Saturdays every now and again, too. Um, like tomorrow, I'm doing a collab with another YouTuber known as Danny Bear 87 She's very good people, so... She is. And, and yeah, we mainly talk about all, all soap operas, but hey, every now and again, we talk about some wrestling. We talk about um, anything, really. We talk about relationships every now and again. Um, and people of all ages be enjoying this group. So I really hope um, you... Come around and see this. You'll, you'll like it. But anywho, outside of that, how how is everybody today? Hey, hey, Dewan. Dewan said Lee was right. Hey, Spider Quake. Spider Quake says, wow, The Rock went off. I'm so glad that Adam and Sally are back together. Me too, Candy. Me too. I'm very happy that they're back together because it was long overdue for them to get back together. And... I just wish that Adam wouldn't want Sally to work with Victor anyways, and they just find another way to bolster Sally up some business. I'd rather Sally just own her own business. I don't want her under Victor because Victor does not deserve her. And Spider Quake said the rock went off about what this time. Well, I can't wait to watch SmackDown myself um, within like this next hour or so. But today, work was so hectic, I didn't even have the strength to go watch um, most of the soaps today. But I watched, I read enough of the recaps to know what was going on. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Josh should have never cheated on Dex with Cam. You mean she never should have left Cameron, cheated on Cam with Dex? It was the other way around. She, she she slept with um I don't like Chloe. She always so mean and bullying Adam. And then Spider Quake says the rock is Hollywood rock now. Well, hey. That gimmick did get over, so he might as well. See, when you play the bad guy, that's when they remember you're the good guy. So that was that's good. I'm glad for that. But I think it, but getting into the title of this stream, I, tr I try to do a little intro, crybaby, what you call them. Oh, I think it's long overdue for Sonny to tell Jocelyn that it's time for him to tell her she could kiss his ass. Like, I mean, Jocelyn should have never cheated on Cam with Dex. I'm sorry, I never liked Dex. I don't blame you for not liking Dex like that because um, I'm not going to lie. The only time I like Dex is when I'm attracted to him, but I'm not attracted to him right now. So I don't like Dex right now. So um, I, I agree with Justin that this is karma. Jocelyn thought that her and Dex could just have their happily ever after with no interruptions, like no karma was going to come in. After the way she did Cameron, Cameron was good to her, even though I don't like Cameron because he's a simp and he forgave her. Justin, weren't you upset with Cameron for forgiving Jocelyn? Because I really was. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm still kind of upset that Cameron forgave Jocelyn. Like, she treated him so foul and it was so wrong. And it's just not right that he forgave her. And... When she doesn't deserve it. She didn't do anything to deserve their forgiveness. 
SmackDown was BS tonight. I didn't I didn't get to see SmackDown yet. Um, I was in Albert's live stream, then I came right right here to mine. And Spider Quake, I want you to test your other account to see if it's if it's still banned on here. It wasn't banned. Uh, it should have only been banned on Streamyard, but not on here. But I want I want to see your blue account, Spider Quake, to see if it's unbanned. Did you know that Cameron had attacked Sharon? He had tried to rape her. Best part was when he had kidnapped Faith. Yeah, I I, I was. Yeah, but I saw that whole story. Like, well, I saw his comeback in 2022 or no, 2023. That was last year. Yeah, but I saw that storyline play out. Um, that, that was a good storyline. Not gonna lie. That was a very good one. Um, Cameron Kirsten, he brought excitement back to the Young and the Restless because before he came along, the Young and the Restless was kind of going down a little slippery slope, but. Cameron Kirsten helped turn that around. And I felt they got rid of him so quickly, but I mean, he the dude killed a cat. So you know he wasn't gonna stick around that long. Um but on another general hospital question, do you think that Danny is gonna end up like Jason the way Sam fears? I just feel like that's a little bit of a stretch that he's starting to, they just want to make it seem like it's more important for Jason to come back. In my opinion, when Jason was never really there for that boy. So her saying that she's, he's just like Jason and under his influence, like that's a little bit much for me to really buy into, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. I mean, I really hope that Jason comes back to be a father this time because I'm sure both Danny and Jake could use him right now. And he's never really been there for them like that. So I would appreciate having Jason actually be a father to his kids this time around. That would really be something special to see. But to be honest with you, I really don't have that much faith in Jason. I remember that Nick and Adam went to his hospital. He gave Faith his liver for it if he didn't say Faith. Yep, um, he gave, Adam gave Faith a kidney, which Nick forgot about five minutes later. Well, 10 minutes later, Nick forgot about it. And that was a mess. But... That's Nick Newman for you. He always has the short stint, short term memory when it comes to Adam, usually. And then Dewan talking about hashtag Lee was right. Stop, Dewan. Lee was not right. Lee was the devil of a woman. I would gladly tell J Josh for Sonny. Yep, Sonny could kiss his caramel ass. That's what. I mean, Jocelyn could kiss Sonny's caramel ass. That's what Jocelyn could do. What's up? What's going on, folks? Not much, Solomon. What's going on with you? How you doing? I'm on my best. I'm gonna. I'm trying to be on my best behavior tonight. I'm trying to be really nice to Spider Quake tonight, since I was so mean to him yesterday. <laughs> I I watch I rewatched last night's stream this morning. I realized I was so mean to Spider Quake last night. I'm so sorry, Spider Quake. I was just so mean to you for almost no reason, except for you coming at my Ava. Don't forget the likes button. Hell no, it's Friday. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh! What you expect? What you, what you thought I was gonna bring all the smoke? No, I was a bad person last night. Okay, I blame those big belly women. Now, Kyrie, you know, twenty minutes from now, you'll be talking about boy, get your ass out of here. 
<laughs> oh God. <laughs> well, he better take that temporary victory. Cause all I wanted for him was to apologize yesterday, but damn, I was so mean to him. I didn't even let any of his comments go through. So I'm um, Spider Quake to answer your question yesterday. No, I didn't watch Days of Our Lives yesterday. I didn't have enough time. But what did you enjoy about Days of Our Lives, Spider Quake? Come on, I'm giving you the floor. This is your this is your time. This is your redemption for yesterday. So um I want you to tell me all about your day. Well, all about what you enjoyed about the soap operas and wrestling. I'm giving you your spotlight, Spider Quake, because I'm redeeming myself from yesterday. I was just totally mean to you for almost no reason. It's 5'2", 260-pound black girl that got you so grouchy. You damn right. <laughs> That's why I'm redeeming myself. So, Spider Quake, the floor is yours. Don't be scared now that the spotlight is actually on you. So come on. Why do you, who do you like? Nikki Newman or Pill Popping Poppy? Pill Popping Poppy. Hey, if she pop a pill, she might pop her top off too. So I I'll have me some of Poppy. Even though I would want Luna before Poppy though, because ooh, Luna is fine as wine. But Jocelyn could go straight to hell with her whiny ass. Like, Sonny don't owe you no loyalty, and Justin gave attitude to my Ava. I didn't see it, but she talked about, oh, thank you for your, your um, pointless advice. First of all, little girl, it wasn't a pointless advice. She told you to stay out of grown folks' business, all right? You want to be sleeping with a mobster, but you don't want to deal with no mobster consequences. If Sonny didn't get rid of Dex, then someone else will. Okay? Now what? And Jocelyn's like, you're a criminal. I hate you forever. Well, guess what? So is her uncle, like Jonathan Lewis said. And hey, Jonathan, I'm going to quote Jonathan Lewis tonight. He said, um, what Sonny should have said was, and so is your uncle Jerry. He's a criminal too. Now what? Don't forget about one thing, Adam. He was accused of murdering AJ. His best friend, Angel, accused him of killing his mom. Hope murdered AJ, not, not Adam. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That story about when he was 11 years old. Yep, I remember that. I remember that. That was uh, interesting. Storyline direction. And then the Newman still treated him like crap. Regardless. He was only a child. I wouldn't think about it too much, but Kyrie, I think I know who the person is you and Albert were talking about. He has M in his name, and he was in one of Albert Shreen, I believe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You right. I stand by everything I said, that at least Albert buys his own coffee. I stand by everything I said. And then some. Joss needs to get off her high horse because she cheated on Cam to be with Dex. Exactly. She do need to get off her high horse. Like, who does she think she is? Like, seriously. You think that Sonny owes you some loyalty now? Like, really, little girl? After the way you've been treating him for the last two years now? All you and your attitude, Jocelyn? She thinks she's her mom. Exactly. But guess what? Sonny was never sleeping with Jocelyn. So she don't have all these special privileges. Kyrese is cooking tonight. Thank you. Thank you. And what's up, Albert Bostet? That's right. Um, Solomon, Solomon brought up what I was saying. And I said, I stand by everything. At least Albert Bostet right here, he buys his own coffee. He's a, he's a real streamer. He's a good streamer. He doesn't use them like, like pay pigs. 
He don't do that, okay? He values his streamers. He values his member, I mean, his subscribers and treats us all like people and like friends because that's the humble man that Albert Bostick is. He's a very humble man. He don't sit there and get lazy and complacent. That's one thing Albert Bostick will never do. He gives his 100% energy. He deserves that top spot and he will continue to have it because he's the real undisputed greatest live streamer of all time. Even, even he's better. He's better than me. I said it. Well, I'm more the wild card, but it's, it is what it is. I have fun, but Albert Bostic is the greatest of all time. And I can't wait until he gets 10,000 subscribers and makes that bum irrelevant that has to um, sit there and ha and rely on soap stars to be interesting because he has no personality and he's fake. Just saying. And always want to tell your so his million sob stories to get a couple of extra dollars because he's too lazy to get a real job. I said it. But thankfully, we have Albert Bostick. Did you know on Days of Our Lives that Marlena was a demon? <laughs> Reese is dropping the, ha the hammer tonight. You damn right. Thought I wasn't going to keep my same energy? Mm-mm. I'm keeping that and then some. What is with me the last two days? Maybe maybe I do need to revisit this 90-day something. <laughs> but I don't care, though. No, I stand by what I said. And then some. I'm just saying. Albert Bostic is a good man. I mean, Danny is a much better man. Um, Solomon says, "I Amen, I agree. Albert isn't wishy-washy. He doesn't feel the need to show everyone how good of a life he lives and who, and who knows it. Exactly. And he knows. Exactly. I'm just saying. And he actually earns all of his members and all of his supporters. Albert actually earns it because he actually watches the show. He doesn't just sit there and say, oh, no, I can't watch that. I can't watch that because that's because it's racist. He doesn't have to, he doesn't freaking say it. He could actually watch the show and see it play out instead of playing for that card to try to get money out of minorities that are already struggling and broke. I'm going to head to bed. I'll message you tomorrow about some stuff and theories. Exactly. Um, well, good night, Albert. Albert, it's always, and once again, we appreciate you very much, Albert. You are the best of all time. And we all love and appreciate you. Every last one of us here. Now, anywho, like I was saying about Jocelyn, and her little, and thank you again. Appreciate you, Kyrie. Yes, and I appreciate you even more, more than you'll ever know. But anywho, I want to start talking about the bald and the beautiful. How exciting would it be to see Willow unleash her inner Nina? You know, Jonathan, I was waiting for that. I'm I'm still waiting for that because Willow. Nina's blood is running through your veins. So that means you're a little crazy on the inside. All you're sitting over there is faking the funk, pretending to be this little, oh, Miss Perfect, oh, I barely raised my voice. Oh, I just want to see the good in everybody. Oh, why can't everybody just get along? Um, oh no, Nina is bad. But please, Nina is all the way inside Willow. Okay, Nina and Willow are two peas in a pod, along with crazy ass now. So therefore, it's only going to be a matter of time before Willow does something or says something that Michael doesn't like, and then Carly and Jocelyn will turn against her, and who will have Willow's back? Miss Nina Reeves. I don't know her middle name, but I know her last name is Reeves, and that will be the day. I will be so proud of Willow 
when it happens. Because she needs more depth as a character anyways. She needs to have more backbone, more spice, more spunk, more fire in her character. I mean, because the woman who's playing her, are you Italian Nina Webster from The Young and the Restless? Are you talking about now? We're talking about Willow Tate from General Hospital. Um, and then David says, amen to that, Kyrie. So I always enjoy being on Albert's show. Yeah, Albert's shows are lit. They are. They're very lit. I'm just saying. They are indeed. But one second. Um, so Poppy and Luna and... Zenday had their big confrontation today, but I don't. Th but I don't think she's gonna tell Fat Chest Boy anything. Maybe Willow could have a meltdown at the hospital after dealing with a number of difficult patients. Now you're cooking. That will be good. I'm just saying. Oh, I didn't realize that RJ and, and Thomas had a scene together today. That's not what I heard in the background. I really should have watched all myself. Poppy drugged her daughter and Zende took advantage of Luna. Ooh. That is that is a hot topic storyline right now. Um, I was just talking to my mom about that today. Yo, that is a, that's like a 50-50 dicey comp. That's a dicey topic. Because he certainly did kind of take advantage of that situation. I will not have any kindness on a Friday thing. Well, let's roast Zenday's ass. Zenday, Poppy, and Luna. Come on, Gemini. Come on. Bring on your insults for Zenday, Poppy, and Luna. First of all, my thing is all three of them played a part in all of this, okay? Each and every last one of these three played a part in all of this. Zende played a part. He wanted to get rid of, he wanted to get at Fat Chess RJ. And Poppy want to be a drug popping shrew. And Luna, ain't nobody told you to go drink that damn champagne. Ain't nobody told you that, okay? You could have just had some regular water. You popping mints like they freaking whatever, but you the one that took your damn mama's mints. Why are you mixing up your mama's mints, huh? You could have just kept that to your damn self. First off, you could have bought your own damn mints. Ain't nobody told you to take your mama's mints, all right? You don't know where your mama's mouse been. And then I didn't like the way that Luna was talking to her mother yesterday, too, talking about all the men you've been with that Lee is right about you. Absolutely not. If Lee was right about you, why didn't she ever try to look out for you? Why didn't she ever worry and making sure you looked good? Why didn't she ever pick you up from school? Why didn't she ever help you with your homework? Why didn't she ever call you on the phone and check on you? Why didn't she ever try to get custody of you when you was a child? If, if she thought that... Um, Poppy was this unfit, unstable mother, but yet Lee never gave a damn about you because she was sitting over there with her adoptive son and and fuck and I'm um, fucking a man that clearly was cheating on her with many other women because who will blame him? How about that? How about that? So I'm just saying, so that, let's not turn that around. F that Poppy is not Lee's kid. F that. But no. But I'm just saying, but don't act like don't act like Lee's right that you're team Lee now, Luna. Lee, Lee don't give a damn about Luna. So now Lee can miss me with on um, Monday talk about, oh Poppy, I'm concerned for your daughter. No, the hell you're not. Miss me with that fake concern. She can miss me with all that. She don't give a damn about her. Don't give not one damn about that girl. So that is what Luna. Need to watch her mouth. Poppy is still her mother. Okay? 
She's the only one that gives it. Lee already taken care of a Sheila's kid. Exactly. You sit over there with Sheila's kid, but you never even cared about your own blood. And you wonder why you didn't have a biological kid of your own? Because look how you treat your own blood. You didn't deserve to have a biological kid. That's why you don't have one, because you don't deserve one. Now what? You don't deserve one, Lee. Lee didn't know where Poppy was. Oh, she knew. She knew. She knew. And she didn't care. All right? Because she's sitting over there getting, uh-uh, no. So Luna need to watch her damn mouth. And he's back. There you go. You brought the real me back, okay? I had to go nice for like five seconds, but now I'm back being the jackass as usual. So Spider Quake, I'm still calling you out. You wanted my attention yesterday. You got my attention tonight. I still came at you yesterday because you came at my Ava. But I forgive you for now. As long as I don't hear the name Boomer Reese again. Okay, Spider Quick. So I want to hear from you tonight. The floor is yours. I'm sorry, but I do not believe Zenday sexually. Ooh, yes, this is a spicy topic. Let me highlight this. I'm sorry, I that, but I do not believe that Zenday actually sexually assaulted Luna. Ooh. Zenday was just being stupid and horny and thought Luna was starting to like him. Well, he didn't walk it. I mean, she was in that bed with him. She said, oh, I was waiting for you. So I'm just saying, um, how he knows she wasn't a thought box? I'm just saying, she said, oh, mom, I, I waited until the perfect guy. I don't sleep with other random guys. Well, yeah, I did that night. So I'm just saying. Solomon gave the, gave up the good because she was with someone with a fat chest. <laughs> now we can have a damn Friday Night Live. Oh, oh, oh. And let's not forget tomorrow I'm having a live stream with Danny Bear 87, 10 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be good. I got I to gotta catch up on all my my shows today. I didn't even watch any of these shows today. I'm just basing it off of the recaps. But I'm going to actually physically watch this and especially Days of Our Lives because Danny Bear is going to be there tomorrow. Luna cheated on RJ by accident. By accident she did, Miss Miss Candy. But um, But you're right. She did. She did. I didn't watch Gia today. What happened? Sonny sent Dex away. Dex ain't about to sit up, and, ain't about to go up in there and thinking that he's about to get away with what he did to Sonny. All right. Sonny said, look, you know too much and I don't trust your ass. So you got to go. So if you want me to let you live, your ass is getting out of my town. So Dex wanted to put up a little bit of a fight at first, but he ain't had no damn choice. Talk about, Sonny, I can't lose her. I love her, Sonny. He said, well, if you really love her, but all my enemies are going to come after you. So now what? So if you love her, do the right thing and leave town. And Dex walked his little mushroom ass out of his life. Are you talking about Sonny Corinthos? Yes, ma'am. And Luna's talking about telling RJ that that will make it worse. RJ's going to get him mad as hell. He might punch Zenday in the mouth with his fat chest. Not the fat chest. Ow, ow, ow. So um, was Thomas and RJ actually brotherly with each other today? Do they actually ever spend time together? Or is it because he's with that number one mattress tag, Miss Brooke. Um, is RJ and Thomas in a good, genuine good place or do they just tolerate each other? 
Or are they actual brothers? Do they actually treat each other like brothers? That is the million dollar question. Yeah, no, that is. I thought it was weird as hell that Thomas and Hope are together. They share a brother. Hey, they share a brother, but they don't share no DNA. So they don't care about that. They don't care nothing about that. They ain't thinking about RJ. Are you talking about the young and the restless? We're talking about the bald and the beautiful at the moment, Miss Candy. But we could always talk about the young and the restless, too. Come on. Um, what, what you got for us, Candy? We could talk about the young and the restless. All we want, all you want. The floor is yours. Oh, no, nothing to be sorry about, honey. Nothing to be sorry about. You could talk about young and the restless all you want. Let's talk about Aunt Jordan. What do you think about Aunt Jordan, Miss Candy? What do you think about my Aunt Jordan? Brooke thinks Ridge is, RJ, is RJ's Ridge only kid. Mm -mm. Aunt Jordan is a effing G. Yes, she is. She's a gangster. Ooh, I love me some Aunt Jordan. Okay, yes, yeah, she's a she's a nightmare. She is. However, I love her so much. I guess you right, Kyrie. Ridge hooked up with Brooke's daughter, Bridget, years ago, and he thought that was his daughter and later his sister for years. Mm -mm. It ain't right. That is not right. He said Bridge. Yeah, Brooke and Ridge, they suck. Hey, Miss Bumblebee. Next week, Joss and, Tr and Trina will reconnect, and Trina will give Joss a pep talk after losing Dax. I'm looking forward to fast forwarding that scene. Because now I got to see more tears and more fake outrage. Yay. I'm just saying. But Luna, Nikki getting permission from Victor to see Jack. Really? What the F is that? Victor is a controlling, bully, narcissistic freak. That is why he is so, oh, he gets on my nerves. He always gets on my nerves with his bullying. He's a humongous bully. Why? Must Victor always get off on threatening people, on harming people? Him and Phyllis Summers are the worst characters that can ever exist. They both suck. And then Solomon Payne says, I hope. Amanda berates Devon next week in his Abbott Chancellor Winters company. And why is he the main source of boardroom drama on this show? Name changes. And then Miss Bumblebee says, you seem to hate everybody. Well, you know that's not true because you know I love Danny with all of my heart. That's number one. I love me some Ava Jerome, even though I want her to keep... I want her to keep her hands and her lips off of Nina's man. And I love Nina. I have a love-hate thing going on with Willow. I um I love Adam. I like Sally. I like Tracy Abbott. I like plenty of other people, okay? Off the top of my head. I like Elena. I like Spider Quick says, where's my queen Jess at? I don't know. First of all, he, she's my queen. But welcome, Spider Quick. Like I said, the floor is yours. So I want you to ask me all the questions that you had for me yesterday. I want to hear them tonight. Okay? And then some. I want to hear every every question that you have about General Hospital, 
or days of our lives. I want all of Spider Quake's questions highlighted today. This is going to be the opposite of yesterday, okay? I'm going to highlight everything you say from here on out. I highlight all of your comments, Spider Quake. So come on. The floor is yours. Jocelyn was so annoying today. You damn right she was. She was the monster of all monsters. You know what I mean? Sonny really should have took his belt out and whooped her little ass. That crying like, holy crap. You damn right. That crying. Don't nobody got time for her crying and her ashy ass feet. Don't nobody have time for that. Okay, so Spider is on front street tonight. You damn right, Gemini. On Monday, she's crying to Carly. Well, guess what? Carly's not sleeping with Jocelyn no more. I mean, Carly, <laughs> Carly's not sleeping with Sunny no more. So he, she don't have no more power. Who's worse at being annoying, Joss or Spencer? Ooh, Spencer. I hate Spencer more. I'm just saying. Hey, my gorgeous queen, Jessica, you had just mentioned. Joss is more whiny than Rachel. Yeah, tell me about Rachel. Hey, the gorgeous queen has arrived. You had just mentioned. Um, Spider Quick just asked where you were at. And then today is, today I'm redeeming myself for the mean way I treated Spider Quake yesterday. So I'm highlighting all of his comments. I gave him the floor. The floor is his. So this is the opposite of yesterday. So instead of putting him on timeout, I'm highlighting every last one of his comments tonight. Because that's what good person that I am. Now, you see now Dewan on the other hand, he's, he's pushing it. He said Kyrie's and Wendy. 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 Sunny has so many enemies. Does she really think Sunny will take out Dex Spencer easily? Paul Patty is crazy nutcase. Joss is more annoying. Queen Jess, your girl was a crybaby like Holly. Today is Spider Quake's day until he said. Says something F up. Uh-uh. He's good right now, okay? Spider Quake is good. Also, Jade Everett Bobby. And then Spider Quake says, facts, Gemini. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I didn't I didn't even fully read that comment. Let me let me let me let me highlight that again. What Spider Quake said was Queen Jess. Your girl, Joss, was a crybaby bitch like Holly. Like, holy. Okay. I'm here for it, Kyrie. Don't tell me. Don't yell Wendy without me. Don't yell Wendy that much. Wendy. Wendy is ugly on the inside. Okay? She snitched on a whole woman. She snitched on her boyfriend's mother. Who is Spider? Spider Quake is right here. He's right here. Um, Spider Quake, introduce yourself to Candy, Miss Candy Ray over here. She's a really good woman. She's a she's a nice subscriber of mine. Um, and she's really helped the presence of these streams lately. She's such a nice woman. I really like Candy Ray. She's a big fan of the Young and the Restless, and I love that. She she is my prayers coming true. She loves Adam Newman and she loves the young and the restless. So I hope that she's here for all times to come. Well, I don't watch that. It's okay, but you can still learn about the show from listening to my friend Candy Ray. That's how you call for me, Kyrie. Yell Wendy three times and I'll appear. Wendy. Wendy. I didn't say it a third time, so you can go. 
<laughs> oh wow, I'm so <laughs> Joss was right with what she said about Sonny. I know. Phyllis is a good woman that lies and cheats on her man. Now Phyllis is an evil woman. Jess was right. What was Josh right about? Exactly. He, she right about nothing. Jocelyn is the devil. Dewan said, hashtag back fat Katie. You damn right. Hey, Tamika. One second. Let me highlight your comment. Tamika says, hey, good night. Just came in. Yes. Hey. Everybody say what's up to Tamika. Tamika is a big friend, is a huge friend of mine. Oh, Je oh please, Jess, Joss is a hypocrite because when she needs help, she sure knows Sonny's name with her punk ass. She sure do. And a liar. Sonny. What has Sonny lied about right now, okay? What has Sonny lied about, Jocelyn? I just called you, Jocelyn. <laughs> yeah. that, that's so messed up. I just called you, Jocelyn. What is Sonny lying about right now? When's the last time? She's not that long ago. He's a crim criminal and a liar, LOL. He's not wrong. Maybe since Luna doesn't want Zende, he can go and toss back fat Katie around in the bedroom. Jocelyn always asks Sunny for help every time she needs something. Jocelyn messed up today by disrespecting Ava. You damn right. And I'm going to cuss Jocelyn out two days in a row. I, I'm, I'm going tame tonight. And then when I actually watch the show tomorrow... I'm going to really cuss her out again. We talking about Dex, Gemini. I love our Sonny. We're not talking about Dex. Sonny is still a criminal. Ah, my, miss my Nina. I miss Nina too. And Jocelyn was very disrespectful to Ava. Talk about, oh yeah, with your, with your um useless advice. First of all, if you don't watch your mouth, little girl, I'm not playing with Jocelyn Japs, okay? She not going to be disrespecting my girl, Ava. We saw what happens to people that disrespects my Ava. We saw what I did to Betty, okay? Betty got deported because she slapped my Ava. So Jocelyn, you better watch your little mouth before I got to watch it for her. Why does she have to disrespect Ava with her punk ass? Exactly, because she's very disrespectful. Someone need to take a belt to her little ass. And, jo and Spider Quake wants to take his first testy comment of the night when he said, and look what I did to Brennan and, and Dimitri. They are in jail. See, I told you I'm being so super nice today. Now, another day, that would have had a totally different reaction. But today, um, <laughs> tonight is a good night. It's funny that both men you like are, are in jail. That is funny, Spider Quake. That is very funny. Watch your mouth, Joss. You damn right. And, what, and on GH, who would you save? Who would you abandon? And who would you drown? Um... Spencer could drown because I want to make sure he stays dead. Um, and who would I abandon? Bye, Violet. <laughs> Damn, I'm so mean. <laughs> and, then, and then who would I save? My Ava every single time. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I am so messed up. Betty slapped the lip gloss off me. <laughs> I'm going. 
<laughs> I'm going to hell with gasoline boxes. <laughs> Damn, you ain't gas. <laughs> I'm dead. Wow. You don't even like Brennan anymore. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> A few months ago, her ass was in love with Cameron. <laughs> I'm sipping out. I, I know. You left Baylor at Walmart, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, something. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Damn. That was that was messed up. <laughs> but Josh needs a hug. Don't leave. <laughs> Don't leave your kids with Kyrie. <laughs> <laughs> Something. <laughs> Shit, I only need to watch my own damn children, okay? And they're not born yet, okay? I will never leave Anthony and Jaylene unattended, okay? He didn't need to think about it, Jesse. <laughs> Shoot the fuck. Look what I said, huh? I, I heard what you said, Spider Quake. I heard what you said. See, Spider Quake wants to unlock the other side of me, but I told you tonight is my good night, okay? See, this is what he said the other day that got me mad. But it was stuff like this. It was stuff like this that got me mad the other night. But I'm a new me today. All criminals on GH and he went straight to the little girl. Hello, Al. Your children were five, two, six down. Big Bertha, huh? Kyrie's ow, ow, ow. No. Big stop. Stop it, Kyrie's. I was about to say something out loud about who Big Bertha really is. But I don't think y'all want me to say that on here. That won't be right. <laughs> I remember yesterday, y'all was trolling Kyrie's with a big black woman. Why is Liam so interested in Bill's girl? He want to F her. Don't say it. Ow, ow, ow. Gemini told me to not say it, so now I really kind of want to say it. But no, but it was messed up, though. Liam, say it. <laughs> You better not. Inherit inheritance, Tamika. You better say it. Don't say it. Why? Who, who do you who do you think? How do y'all know who I'm talking about? Y'all won't even know who I'm talking about, though. Solomon telling me not to say it. Gemini saying I better not say it. But do y'all even know who I'm talking about? Say what? Say who Big Bertha is. Which live streamer was introduced to Big Bertha? I'm surprised y'all would pick up on that. After what you said last night, nope, say nothing. Oh, oh, oh. Do you all think? Don't really care, Kyrie. Hey, Al Darby starting to pick it up on what I said. Darby said, I don't care, really care, Kyrie. I now I know who you said. We're not gonna know who she is. Darby's a boomer. Oh, Spider Quake definitely doesn't know who he who, who he is. She was caught on camera. Liam is a crybaby, and crybaby, he cries like a baby. You damn right. Yeah, he is. And Drew Kane is a waste of space. I said it. Hit that like button. Yes. We got 19 people in, nine likes. Do you think Luna's going to tell the truth? No, because telling the truth would be too easy. And the bald and the beautiful, they're not all for being too easy, you know? 
they're all for being too lazy. Big Bertha will cuss you out over her Popeyes. Don't play with her, her Kyrie's up. Thinking about I might date a girl over 130. Luna should tell the truth. I'm surrounded by children. LOL, shaking my head. Luna is going to be knocked out. It was an accident. Got to remember the tits and ass hold, hold a lot of weight. Hold up. You just said something that wasn't wrong. You said, got to remember the tits and ass hold up, hold a lot of weight. Hold up now. That actually wasn't all that wrong. That was something I might have said. Hold up. Big Bertha got to eat. Luna's going to play I guess who's the daddy is. What if Luna's storyline with how she was conceived? Mm-mm. I like to know who Luna's father. It's not Bill. Uh-uh. <laughs> you want to know a real twist? <laughs> if Liam is Luna's daddy. <laughs> if that's why he's asking who, who Bill's new woman is, because Liam is really Poppy's Luna's daddy. That would be a twist. We'd be like, what the hell? I think Dex is tied up with Jason's storyline. Dex will leave Port Charles across Jason, help bring him to Port Charles. I agree with that, probably. I won't be surprised. We got to bring Maury on the show. Dex better be back. I don't care about Jason right now. I ain't never cared about Jason that much, but you know... I'll give him the benefit about Kyrie's. Do you like Latinas? Sure do. I also, I think Jason, so also Jason will bring Dex back. Yep. And Sonny won't go against his precious Jason. He just won't do it. So what if Finn's brother would be laughing if Finn is, I think he is her brother. Oh yeah, Finn's father. That's the running theory, but do you like Spanish? Why are you asking about all the men that I like, Spider Quake? What difference does that make? I'm just saying. Hey, Cat Lady. Cat Lady says Dex will be back when he's Jason's son. LOL. Look. Laughing my ass up. I know. He's starting to bring out the real me after all. <laughs> Asking too many intrusive questions. <laughs> Kyrie's like anything without back fat, chest fat. I love, I love Jason. Hope he brings back Lucky, Lucky too. Has Poppy met Ridge or Thomas? Willow's all coming to me. Trina will be back. Trina never left. It was only a matter of time. Well, I I beat out Solomon's recommendation. Solomon said, Kyrie's, now you know 20 minutes or now, you're going to be like, boy, shut up. <laughs> it was 40 minutes later. <laughs> so, impressive. Poppy met everyone if it's a man. Well, goddamn. Don't be coming at my girl like that, like that. I heard that Emma's alive. Really? Where'd you hear that from? Where'd you hear that? Who told you that? Emma Barber? My Emma? Well, the Emma Barber? Emma Barber is alive? Really? Awesome. Tell me. Where'd you hear that? Who heard it? Bald is lacking diversity, black and Spanish. They need to bring, they need more on the show. I love my whites, but we need black and Spanish. I agree. Knock it off because you know Poppy is a crackhead. Well, goddamn, not a crackhead. Yeah, I'm dead. Big Bertha will be quick to get out of the drive-thru and walk into rallies and say, where the hell my strawberry, my strawberry drink 
give me it or y'all better not make my my belly slap y'all up in here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Article said she faked her death. Her eyes were wide open. No, she is not alive. They're going to bring her back as a ghost. Good. I hope she haunts Thomas. Um, I'm not going to lie. Lots of white people, but the audience is more black than white. How you know that, Spider? Ooh. I just know, Jess. Oh, damn. That little boy think he know everything. Hey, I love my Thomas. Don't talk about my Thomas. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Uh-oh. Alamo, okay, I will win the lottery tomorrow then. GH needs more black men and not boomers. Emma had faked her death. Finn finds out she's alive. That sounds like the YNR audience. You damn right. I'm just saying. Hell not, nah, Jess. Why can't my queen Jessica win the lottery? If she want to win it. Jessica Love, which couple's on GH? Jocelyn and Dex and Sprina. They got rid of both of them. And I'm here for that. Because Sprina sucks. They always have. They really have. They always have. They just suck. They do. They're just so lackluster. They have no chemistry. They're embarrassing to watch on screen. Curry's, if you had to pick one soap to add more black men and women, which one would you choose and why General Hospital right away? And because I said, because Trina needs a good black black man in her life, and Curtis, I want to see him get jumped on screen. Clark Industries, hey, DC, the one and only DC Soap Sanctuary up in here, the king of soap lovers welcomed. Oh. You want... Curtis to get jumped. Hello. <laughs> I'm heartless. I'm just saying, if that didn't prove the man that can't even stand, LOL. I know. Like I said, I feel the only, when I see Nat Clark Industries repeating my intro tagline, he, <laughs> he, he. I'm just saying, no, I wasn't I wasn't taking credit for it. I was saying DC's the king, the king of soap lovers welcomed. That's what I was saying, DC. Hello, <laughs> Al. Yo, DC missed, missed last night. Your last night was crazy. Ow, oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh. Nah, it wasn't shady. He was just showing me appreciation. I want Curtis to, to have enough black or Spanish guys for a basketball team. So, DC, the question that Spider Quake asked, it was kind of a juicy. He said, if you could add bl more black characters on any show of the four soap operas, which one would it be and why? I said General Hospital right off the bat because I want Trina to have a real black love interest. And I want to see Curtis get jumped. Those are my reasons. <laughs> oh, Adam for, on Adam for Delia's death. Jax also, it, it wouldn't be days because they know how to use their characters of color and they actually write for them. Would be. Why can't Curtis get jumped by white people, Kyries? LOL. It won't have the same effect the way I want him to get jumped. 
I saw an old clip when Jason has a black girlfriend named Keisha. Yo, but I'm seriously going to hell for my comment earlier. Miss Bumblebee asked me who would who which which character would I abandon? And I said Violet with no hesitation. <laughs> that was just so messed up. I didn't even give it any thought. Cause the little girl got too much money. Days of Our Lives is the first soap I ever known that acknowledged Martin Luther King Jr. Day ever. That's true. But they they have quite a few black characters on days, I guess. And then Kyrie would leave Violet by the side of the road. <laughs> Bald of the beautiful should have more blacks. Yeah, but then they would get rid of them. Like, look when we had the Avant family. They're all gone. They had the Avant family, and then they just got rid of them. Like, they were nothing. They don't even mention them. But Bald won't write for them. Exactly. Now, General Hospital, I'm giving, I'm giving them a golden opportunity. Okay? We could use a black man for... G, for um. Thing. On, on Young and the Restless, it wouldn't really matter because they would just throw um, them to, to Victor Newman anyways. They would, give, they would give the black people another company for Victor Newman to take over. Kyrie's is afraid of Violet. Ow, ow, ow. I sure am. I sure am. I'm terrified of her. But Jocelyn's tear, I felt for her. It was the first time I felt for her in a scene. You have more compassion than me, DC. You have more compassion because Jocelyn got too much mouth for me. Okay? And I didn't appreciate her disrespecting my Ava. Joss can cry her ass off. That's for sure. That's usual. That is Jocelyn for you. She, Eden McCoy is a good actress. I give her that. She lost the love of her life. I'd be pissed too. That... There's nothing other than feeling like when you love someone, it runs deep. That's true. However, it's karma because she sat over there. She cheated on Cameron. So would she think that that wasn't going to come back to bite her? That Herman Dex was just going to have a happily ever after with no, um, with no karma? There had to have been something to balance the scales, okay? Jocelyn had been living on that high for way too much long, for t way too long. And then Miss Bumblebee is asking you a question, DC. Miss Bumblebee says, DC Soap Sanctuary, do you have compassion for poor Spencer too? Um, Spencer's the one that I would drown. I would make sure that he was drowned. So that's my answer. But what's yours, DC? Do you have compassion for Mr. But I feel her karma would be Dex cheating on her, but not him getting chased out of town by a mobster who pretends to be a family parent man, but kills people for a living. God damn. Dropping the facts. Wait, was the love of her life a few months ago, Cameron? I have no compassion for Spencer. Oh my God. I love it, DC. I love it. I have no compassion for, for Spencer. He treated Esme horribly. Yes! I'd love to see the young and the rest is adding more black characters. Bring back Devon's mom and introduce a new black lady, a woman that's on drugs who Devon takes in and ends up dating as she starts a new life. Um, I've dated a guy like Spencer back in high school. Exactly. Do you say I miss Esme? I'm happy Trina lost Spencer for now. People love, hate Joss because she calls out their favorite serial killer. I'm done. Yo! No, Jess. DC Soap Sanctuary. Esme was evil. Spencer wasn't. No, Spencer is evil. He stole a mother from her child, okay, Miss Bumblebee? He stole Ace from his loving mother. Now he believes this old lady, Laura, who goes on vacation every six months because she don't know what to do with her life. 
every freaking few months she leaves town, she's the world's worst mayor. And now he's going to think that this is his mother because of Spencer's selfishness. Esme was a loving mother and Laura Collins is a trash ass mayor. Serial killer. Nice, Jess. You so right. Sonny is a serial killer. I'm going to start using that. And oh, he said, thanks, DC. LOL. Josh is a hypocrite because she sure knows Sonny's name when she needs protection. Sure do. She sure do. Gemini, when's the last time she needed his protection? You act like Jessica. You don't remember when when that guard wouldn't let her in that one time? She said, oh, you wait until my stepfather, until my stepfather, Sonny, finds out you're treating me like this. And that was long after the divorce. But I feel Dex's storyline would have been hit heavier if he was dating, if Christina was dating Dex and the anger she would feel for her father driving away the being she loves. Kyrie's in DC. Another question. What soap treats black people the most poorly and the best? Well, DC already said days of our lives treats them, them the best. So, um, The bald and the beautiful treats them the worst because they get rid of them all together or meet or have one or two in the background. Devon's mom could have had a storyline where she returns to Genoa City with her new boyfriend who is very abusive and becomes physically abusive with hers. Right? I would piss. I was pissed. Poppy put her hand on Zenda. She slapped him. Oh hell no. Esme deserved to be in jail. Just because you have a kid doesn't make you less of a criminal. Esme was a fake loving mother. She used her son to manipulate Laura, Nicholas, and Spencer. Days treats black people the best. Ambassador Sam says, good night, Kyrie and everyone. Looking forward to the collab with da at Danny Bear tomorrow, Saturday. Signing off for now. All right, good night, Ambassador Sam. Everybody say good night to Ambassador Sam. Agree, Gemini. And Poppy pushed him so hard, and Luna defend him. Poppy just gave Zende a push. Poppy is a fake loving mother. Poppy, oh yeah, DC, what do you think about Poppy? What do you think about Poppy? I know people want Zeke back. Seems like Esme got a white woman privilege press. Bullshit, it had nothing to do with her being white. She's a mother, okay? Esme is a loving mother, Gemini. So it had nothing to do with Esme being white. It had to do with the fact that she was a loving mother and Spencer had no reason to take her baby. That was the reason. That was the reason, okay? Esme could have went to jail later for drugging little Miss Trina. I liked her until she went after Zenda. I really hated the storyline. It's problematic all around. Yes, it's very problematic. I know people want Zeke back. You damn right. I want Zeke back in my bed. Um... Esme is a porn taping criminal. You know what? It wasn't, it was amateur at best, and it was short. Esme was a good one mom. Can't say nothing bad about the GH wrote Esme and Dex into a corner. Esme didn't get a white woman pass, although Poppy is a druggie. Why race has to come up in the soap? That kind of mentality has to drop. Um, uh, do you think Zende sexually assaulted Luna? Ooh, it's kind of that's kind of that's kind of a real iffy one. That's an iffy topic. That was kind of iffy. Kind of, he kind of did, but kind of didn't. Not technically, he got. He technically got her assent, but he technically didn't. Exactly. That's kind of like 50-50. However, let's not let's not pretend, because um DC, you know that Rid, when Ridge finds out, he's gonna get on his high horse. But let's not forget that Ridge also has Ard woman in the past. He rate he um he violated Brooke and somebody else too. So Ridge is going to get on his high horse when Ridge is, is an actual rapist. 
So let's not forget that when Ron Moss was in the role. So Esme was not a mother loving mother. Ace was only her meal ticket. Esme is a good woman. You damn right, Dewan. Would you want Adam Huss to continue to play Nicholas or would you rather another actor? Another actor, please. Zende needs his mother and his father to come to town because he needs people in his corner. I agree with you. So are they trying to make Zende the new Thomas? Pretty much. Gemini, it's a reality, but not in reality in GH world, at least not, not now. Um, but ooh, but it is it is a little dicey though. But he technically kind of did assault Luna. Phyllis is a devil woman, Dewan. But everyone on social media is going crazy about Zende rate Luna. He should have known she was drunk at the alarm party and that he knew what he was doing. Then how come fans despise Esme? They had they have a good reason. Look, not everybody hates Esme Prince. She has her fans out there right now. I'm one of them. Was Zende drinking also? Not real, not that much. No. I think when Eric hears this story, he will understand. Eric always the one with wisdom. Esme was a good villain. That's true, Queen Jessica. Esme was a good villain. And the soap needs people like her to stay messy. Why don't Poppy just go and tell Zende what happened? Well, she did tell Zende today. They do know. Zende knows. I don't forget think I'll forgive the bold and the beautiful writers for this storyline for, was for Zenda. My thing is, if Ridge could live down him being a rapist, and if Brooke could live down that she accidentally have se had sex with Oliver at, at a graduation party because she thought it was Ridge, if they could live that down, Zenda could live this down. That's my opinion. If Josh does something that causes Sonny or one of his kids to get hurt, would you like to see Christina go off on her? Well, Christina's pregnant right now, so she can't do much of anything. And what kind of pills was it? Did they say what, what it was for? They said, why, DC? This Zende storyline is reminding me of when Christina lied on Ethan on GH. I still haven't forgiven Christina for that. Poppy tried to kick Zende's ass. What is it about that... Esme, that people fight over her so much. What do you do, she do to earn your loyalty? She was a good villain, and she had her baby stolen for her, Miss Bumblebee. That's what she did. Oh, and by the way, y'all remember Eric would whoop Bill's ass. Yes, he would. Eric would whoop Bill's ass. Nicholas was a villain, and Spencer was a villain who people tolerated because of Trina and Lara. Because Jess, they could put his character in a corner with this storyline. They could. They really could. Because once this storyline gets out, but but got, but guys got to go. Got yoga class in the AM. All right. Good night, DC. It was lovely to see you as always. And Esme never got a chance to live her to meet her living brother Stephen Weber. That's true. She didn't. But everybody say good night to DC. It wasn't his fault, though. Exactly. It wasn't all the way Zende's fault. Um, but he could have done a little bit more investigating. I mean, good night, Clark Industries and fellow shareholders. Esme was used by her own father. He messed up her whole mindset. There's no such thing as a good villain. All villains are horrible. If you say so. I made these dumbass hardcore Trina fans made her leave. Did you know Rick was vampire a vampire on Port Charles? 
No, I didn't know that. Thank you for letting me know that, though. I appreciate that. That's good to know. That is very, very, very good to know. He can go right back to Port Charles. Welcome. Phyllis is... Phyllis is evil, okay? Um, we got Jess to start watching Bald and the Beautiful, so let's hope we can get the Queen Jessica to start watching The Young and the Restless so she could hate Phyllis as much as I do. I want you to hate Phyllis just as much as I do, Queen Jessica. Esme and, and Trina are actually friends off the show. Yes, Tabiana and Avery are friends off the show. Leo needs to expose Desperano Peterson at the big gathering. I hope so. But you see, he needs to learn the full truth, though. He needs to know that Eric is the real baby daddy. That's the part that needs to come out. So Salone can't cover her tracks no more. That's the one big missing piece of the puzzle. And what the hell is going on with Ashley? She's getting on my nerves. Jessica said, laughing my ass off. And then Tamika says, RJ is to blame. Exactly, with his fat chest. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Yeah. Hey, Amber. Everybody say what's up to Amber. I heard Nicole is back on days. I will be mad if Nicole leaves before the truth comes out. Oh, don't worry. That won't happen. Why is RJ to blame? Because he got a fat chest. <laughs> That's why. That's why, Jessica. <laughs> that is why. Because <laughs> he's white with a fat chest. That is why. I'm just saying. F hashtag fat chest boy. This is the reason why it's all RJ's to blame, okay? <laughs> if Nicole is leaving the show, will Salone take her place as the messed up damsel in distress? Probably. Wyatt is coming to Genoa City. He re what? First of all, ew. He better not mess with um Adam and Sally though. RJ should have never left her like that. His grandparents has a room she could have stayed in one. That's true. So Heather and Esme were the good villains while Nicholas and Spencer were the bad villains. Heather, Ryan, and Esme were the ones who set the whole thing in motion. Nicholas and Spencer were victims. Victims, my ass. They they kidnapped a baby. They took a baby from her from his loving mother. You wait until Ace turns 18, though. You wait until that. Because he will want revenge. I'm guarantee you that. He will want revenge on Spencer. I promise you that. The longer he has to go without his real mother because of Spencer, I can guarantee you Ace will want revenge when he turns 18 years old on Spencer, and I'm going to be here for it. Ace will want revenge. He will. It's a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. Why is coming to y and R? I hope Wyatt doesn't work for Nikki Newman and the Newmans for his sake. Ace can have a seat by, by the road next to Violet. No, Gemini. Ace is just a baby right now. I wouldn't do that to the baby. Sally had a miscarriage and had her baby hurt. Oh. I'm just saying. I was sad that Sally lost that baby. I felt so bad for them. Violet can watch him by the roadside. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> but that was still so mean. Yet yeah, bring Wyatt on uh, uh, Y&R and have him break up Adam and Sally. Audra's going to sleep with Wyatt. Now, that's more believable. 
Audra will sleep with everybody. Are you gonna watch to know General Hospital on Monday? Yes, Amber. Of course. Adam could go back to Chelsea. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, this version of Adam and Chelsea have no chemistry. I'm saying goodnight to all my lovely people. Love you all. We love you too, Tamika. Everybody say goodnight to Tamika. We love you too. Are you going to watch General Hospital on Monday? Yes, I am going to watch General Hospital on Monday. Jessica, Jessica says goodnight to Tamika. Why it doesn't Sally, she lied and fake doesn't want Sally. She lied and faked on illness. So, and he married that, he wanted to still marry that baby stealing tramp. Flo, the hoe. So why can't he want Sally back? Audra have to get in bed with Nate first. She, Audra will sleep with everybody. They kidnapped Esme's baby because she would have brainwashed him and that was paid back for her wrecking habit against them and Cam and Flo. I mean, Joss and Trina. Hash, Dewan says, hashtag Flo. Victoria may try to get a piece away. You know our girl who went off on... Hey, high five, virtual. Hey. That's right. My girl Nina Reeves is taking a stand. Um, If Esme comes back, her and Nina could strike up a friendship. Nina could be a mentor to Esme. Are Wyatt and Flo even together? Nope, probably not. Nor should they be. She blamed, I have a feeling that Vic, Victor had pretended that Elena prete had pretended that Elena pretended that Adam and Sally's baby being dead. Ava is still alive. Well, Wyatt could always have an affair with Chloe and get her pregnant. Kevin would have a fit. LOL. Kevin would probably jump for joy. He could finally get out the closet. Nina couldn't even raise her own daughter. Well, she could be there for Esme Prince. Esme could use a strong presence like Nina in her life. Right, Jessica? Esme Prince and Nina Reeves could do a lot of good for each other. Dewan says, no. Oh, oh, oh. Stop it, Dewan. Stop it. You know Esme and Nina would be wonderful together. You know our girl went off on Drew yesterday. That's right. She went off on that long neck. Nope. Jessica said, nope. <laughs> Come on, Kyrie. Don't talk about my boy Kevin like that. You know, supposed to pretend he like women. <laughs> oh, Lord. He pretend he like women with, with Dimitri. You know, let me stop. Let me stop. Ow, oh, ow. Oh, oh. I am something else tonight. Summer and Chance are dating. Yes, indeed they are. I'm so happy for them. Okay, who's on this live stream as a Spencer fan? I know Kyrie says it. Okay, I'll highlight that, Miss Bumblebee. Is there any Spencer fans that want to come out to the surface? Now's the floor. I'm going to leave this up for the next seven, no, six minutes. I want to know. Who's a Spencer fan? Oh, Gemini, why you like Spencer all of a sudden? Don't try to don't try to just jump on a bandwagon. You explain to me why you like Spencer, Gemini. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> My, <laughs> he said, mind your business. <laughs> And the cat lady said, nope. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm dead. 
So who here? Um, and new and new clickers. Um, yep, I see. I see. We went from twelve people to thirteen people. Are you a Spencer Cassidine fan? You already know I don't. I can't stand his ass. Yep. Now we got fourteen people in here. Is anyone a Spencer Cassidine fan? Let me know why. But seriously, that would be an interesting storyline. Kevin wants to try to have another child, but Chloe doesn't want children. And then he she sleeps with Wyatt and gets pregnant. Spencer could afford a Birkin and a snack. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm dead. No, Gemini want to jump on the wrong side. <laughs> Who wants to see... Go more, Drew or Spencer? They could both stay gone, but you know what? I'll have I, I, I'd rather. I'm gonna shock you. I hate Spencer more than Drew. I do. So, as long as Drew keeps getting his ass handed to him by Nina every single time, then I'm cool with it. But who is a Spencer Cassidy? Spencer is stranded on that deserted island. That's why, like I said, when Miss Bumblebee gave me that choice earlier today, who I would drown, I would be drowning Spencer Cassidy. Just saying. Kyle cheated on Summer. He slept with Audra. Tess is why Kyle cheated. Spencer could afford to take me shopping and not bitch about the prices. I'm dead. Chance and Summer are blah. They should lead Abby Devon, Abby lead Devon and go back to Chance. Oh, 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 he could, he could do that. But come on, who's a fan of Spencer Cassidyne? We got 15 people in here. I want to know, is there any more Spencer Cassidyne fans that ain't scared to make their presence known? Come on. People in the background, are y'all a fan of Spencer Cassidyne? Don't be shy. Come to the surface. Outside of Gemini, who's just trolling, she knows she don't like Spencer. <laughs> I want Devon and, and Amanda to get, get together. Uh-uh, he cheated on her. He broke her heart. She don't want him no more. Mm -mm. He had his chance and he blew it. I love me a trust fund zaddy. <laughs> it was a G L O L. The <laughs> Gemini is a piece of work, but I love it. I rather. Come on, we got 16 people in here. <laughs> Who likes Spencer Cassidy? I need to know the 411. <laughs> Who likes that boy? We got two more minutes of this of this being highlighted. Before we go to the next topic, oh, oh, oh. I need some undercover Spencer fi fans to come out of hiding. All you got to do is say, me, hey, Danny Bear, are you a fan of Spencer? It's Danny Bear 87, the woman that I will be having a collab with tomorrow night. We got a sneak preview. They said, hi, Danny. Gemini says, me. LOL. Gemini just want that attention. <laughs> I know Gemini do not really like Spencer. I want a real undercover Spencer fan to come out of hiding and be like, yep, I like Spencer. Come on. Bring it on. <laughs> Who's Spencer? Exactly. Who? <laughs> We all wish we could forget him. And oop, period, spent Danny Bear. Oh, oh, oh. 
I'd rather Ab Abby hook up with Nate, not Chance. You know? Why not? He would be upgrading sisters. So I'm okay with that. And he actually was with Abby before. Whoops, Miss Bumblebee. Hey, you only had one one fellow supporter, but hey, we we didn't dog you for it. Hey, I, I I gave I gave Spencer the spotlight. Okay, we could have had Spencer casted iron fans, but nobody could defend that piece of trash, that pale piece of poo. Nate has been redeemed in my eyes. Ooh, we gonna talk about that tomorrow. Abby doesn't care as long as she gets some of that. That moves that way. She better with Chance. Chance matures her. Her and Chance could have a baby naturally this time. Ooh. Nope. She wanted Devon. She got Devon. Okay. That's who she wanted. That's who she got, even though they're boring together. They're so. Boring together, beyond words. Billy Abbott needs to shut up. He know he, he knows he just wants the Abbott name on Chancellor Winters for him. Chance does not want that cheating trash bag. Damn, Gemini. Tell her how you really feel. Who's a fan of Tre Trina Robinson, even though she's boring and whiny? I don't think you want me to highlight that comment. <laughs> I don't think you want me to highlight that. <laughs> You're going to get dragged by Sprina. <laughs> by a bunch of Trina fans. So I'm not going to I'm not going to get you that into that trouble, but she is whiny and she is boring. So I said it. I mean, you're not lying all the time. But she is gorgeous at the same time. And are are we boring you, Kyrie? L O L. <laughs> I love Trina, but I'm over her, and I miss Sp Spencer. He was my world. Trina is meh. She's okay. Diane is a snake in blackmail and put and user put Devon with Elena. I agree with that. Diane Jenkins cannot be trusted. And Abby is a dusty hoe who then cries about it. I like Trina. <laughs> Just not when she has to cry. LOL. Telephone pole. Abby doesn't really want Devon with Martin Lawrence short ass. She only liked temptation. I love Aunt Jordan Witch. She's using Seth's messy ass. OMG. Why you love Spencer Cassidyne? Tell me why you love Spencer Cassidyne. Diane needs to go back to L.A. Yep. Go to L.A. and stay off the bald and the beautiful. I do not like Diane at all. Aunt Jordan looked a hot mess in that wig. Uh -uh, my Aunt Jordan could, could wear it. She know how to wear it. I do love his daddy, Miss Bumblebee. If Adam and Thomas Forrester met, would they probably get along well? It depends, unless if they're fighting over a woman. She did fake her death. Yes, she did. I do want to see Diane and Phyllis catfight and Diane and Nikki catfight too. Diane would probably kick Nikki's old ass. I mean, she has in the past. Aunt Jordan wig was on point. Like always, everything about Aunt Jordan is always on point. And then Dar Darby says, hello, Danny Bear. Hey, Darby, you've been in the background tonight. Darby, Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Now you appeared. So, Darby, start your mess. Aunt Jordan was beautiful today. Yes. Is that the only reason you don't love Spencer for being Spencer? No, because Spencer's a privileged prick. Well, I'm going to take off 
Have a good night, Kyrie's and company. You see you all next week. Yes, good night, Jonathan. Thank you. Everybody say good night to Jonathan, okay? Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you, Jonathan. I got nothing, Kyrie's. You have nothing for Wendy. You have nothing for that Wendy woman. Kyrie's is your collab tomorrow? Yes. My collab is tomorrow with Danny Bear 87, one of our own. She's going to be right there tomorrow. Darby says, bye, Jonathan. I can't believe that old Darby has nothing for me, for his lovely Wendy. You know, Darby, I've been thinking for a little while. Maybe I should give Wendy a true chance. What do you think about that, Darby? I'm thinking about giving Wendy a chance. Do you think I should, Darby? Do you think I should? Darby 13, the floor is yours. Do you think I should give Wendy a chance? Okay. I'm ready to truly try to like her. You want to give... Wendy, a chance? You okay, Kyrie? <laughs> uh, Danny Bear, I'll explain it to you later. You stole Betty from me. I'm still hot about that, Kyrie. Mm -hmm. So I see. Okay, Darby's a little smarter than I thought. He wasn't going to take the bait. Because he knew the moment I said... <laughs> I was I was waiting to try to set Darby into a trap, but he didn't fall for it the way I wanted to. Because hell no, I wouldn't give Wendy no damn chance. Have you lost? Has anyone lost their damn mind? I ain't giving Wendy no chance. When Wendy is the trash of um, what the hell is that? Of Salem, okay? I do not like Wendy. But Darby. That old boomer is proving his age. He's smarter than what I gave him credit for. He knew that I would never give Wendy a chance because Wendy sucks as a human being. And I'm still hot. He says that I stole Betty from him and he's still hot about that. Well, I'm still mad that Wendy didn't leave days of our lives when she had the chance. We had our perfect ex exit story at Danny Bear 87, a bigger turd than, than Victor Newman. Who is? Who's a turd? I'm trying to scroll up, but it won't even let me. Oh, Spencer. Yes. Who is Wendy? Is she on Days? Yeah, she is. She's on Days of Our Lives. She is so, uh, like, uh, I don't even want to show a picture of this woman. But, uh, she's the worst. I mean, her voice is like this shrieking sound. And Darby even once said... And I took credit for this line, but this was Darby's line first. And I quote Cat Lady and Danny Bear 87. She's heard this line, me say this line before. What Darby taught me to say about Wendy during my first example, he said, I try not to think about Wendy on a full stomach. Looking at Wendy, she remind me of a stuffed pig no, of a roast pig with an apple in his in her mouth. That is what Darby said about Wendy when I first was introduced to that character. That was Darby's initial word about Wendy, that she looked like a stuffed pig with an apple in her in her mouth. <laughs> Darby calling me a liar. It was not a lie. That was on Albert's live stream. But then I kind of laugh so hard because when you look at that real closely, that kind of do look like Wendy. 
<laughs> I'm not making it up. That Darby came up with that. Cause let me let me see if I can pull that up. You have wet dreams about Wendy. Never. First of all, that wouldn't be a wet anything. Um, Wendy's a one guarantee of me always staying dry. Yo, that do kind of look like Wendy on the low. I'm not going to lie. This do kind of look like Wendy. <laughs> I'm not even bullshit. Look at that. Don't that look just like Wendy? I'm just saying, that do kind of look like Wendy. I'm just saying it do. That was Maxie you were talking about. No, it was Wendy. It was Wendy. You said that she's a double bagger. And that... Because <laughs> I'm just saying... No, Darby. It was it was Wendy. Cause really, that's not really that far. Now look at her. This is Wendy right here. Yeah, look at her eyebrows. <laughs> I'm just saying. They look scary. And now look at this picture again. They're kind of not that far off. They got the same eyebrows. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Maxi Scorpion. Now it's Maxi Jones, first of all. Second of all, no. Maxi looks much better than Wendy. Maxi does look good. They need to find Tracy Abbott, a man on Young and the Wrestler. She's too nice of a lady to be single. Maybe Danny or Nate could date her. She looks like shit. She looked like Luna. Hold up! 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 Hold the phone, cat lady. Hold the phone. There ain't no way in the world you're going to compare that fine-ass woman, Luna, to Wendy Shin on the young, I mean, on Days of Our Lives. You got to be kidding me now. Hold up. I love you, Cat Lady. Well, come on now. Come on. Come on. That is not fair. You got Luna, then you got Wendy. Come on. That ain't even, that ain't even right. That ain't even right. That ain't right. And you know it. That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. Got me sounding like my grandma. That ain't right. <laughs> I'm just saying. The way Curry just said, shit, how the heavy rolling. Hold up. That is not right. She do the no, she don't. Now I gotta pull up a picture of Luna. This is ridiculous. Uh-uh. Just because they're both Asian don't mean they look alike. LOL cat fit. No, stop, stop. Now you want to co-sign that too, Becky? First of all, hey, Becky. And now look at, look at this. Yeah. No. Don't disrespect Luna like that. Okay, y'all wrong. I'm trying not to. I'm trying hard not to laugh. I'm gonna make a sandwich with Tracy over there and Wendy over there with the middle of <laughs> in the middle. Curry. No, y'all is too wrong. <laughs> Hold up. Let me take a good look at Luna. What the hell is going on here? No, I still refuse to believe that she looked like no. This is Luna right here. What about her look like Wendy? This is Luna, okay? So I just showed y'all Wendy. Sorry. Laughing. Hey, guys, he's laughing too hard to count. They just stop with the lies and the fallacies. Stop it with your made up stories. Luna is way hotter. Luna looking hot there. Hell yeah. Ooh, and she's looking even hotter right here. All right, check out my girl Luna, okay? 
Luna got it going on here. They look the same. Stop with the lies. Stop with the lies. They're lies. Okay? Hashtag Nate and Tracy. You damn right, Nate and Tracy. That will redeem that. Uh-uh. I can't believe they said that. Unbelievable. That is not right. That just ain't right. And y'all know it. Mm -mm. It ain't right. Nah, they sisters, stop it, cat lady. You gonna turn that around on Luna like that. They gonna really throw Luna under the bus like that tonight. Really? I'm like, uh-uh. You got to look at the face, Kyrie's. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, oh, that is messed up. That's all right. I, now we need to get Luna on this on this live stream one day. Luna needs to know I'm fighting hard for her. I'm not going to let them prepare her to Wendy. Mm. This this just this is not right. Tracy Abbott is better than, than Luna. And they think that what is the difference? There's so many differences, cat lady. Too many to too many to say out loud. One got one got better, but well, Wendy do got a fat ass, but um everything else. Luna Look much better. Did you see Luna looking hot? Like this, this, this just isn't right. This is not right. All you see is that body, all body. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I can't right now. How was? Spencer a turd. He wasn't a turd when he protected that. I don't know. I'm tired of that. <laughs> yeah, is wrong. Yeah, is all wrong. Tracy got a fat behind too. Hers is on fleek. You damn right. Look, I can't substitute Wendy with Luna because of my sandwich. It will look lopsided. God. Damn. <laughs> yes, he was, Miss Bubble. <laughs> Damn, Darby. That old boomer Darby. I'm so happy it's a three day weekend. I don't have to go to work on Monday. So damn happy, because work made me miserable, but here I'm happy. Spencer was a garbage. It's about time. Darby said something to redeem himself after he started all this windy garbage. Lucky you, I got to work. Aw, I'm so sorry to hear that. Tracy's having a baby on the way with Mr. Nate Hastings. Ah, uh, Solomon, it's so good to dream. Jessica said, damn, I got to work too. I'm sorry to hear that, y'all. But I'm so happy. Spencer got on our ish list for taking a mother's child. That's right. Look at Cat Lady redeeming herself. Nate and Tracy would be hot. It sure would be. I'm trying to tell you, we wouldn't be hearing nothing about no screening no more once we get Nate and Tracy. that That's that hot black and white couple that we've been waiting for for a minute. You imagine them hot love scenes every day with Tracy's bra on the floor, her bra and her panties off. 
That's just. <laughs> Them hot love scenes that we would be having now. When is the last time Tracy took it way too long? I, w- I want to see Nate rip them clothes off, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying. Push Tracy up against that door before you carry, and I want to see him carry her to bed, okay? <laughs> I want to see him carry her to bed. <laughs> I can't. And then I know Nate would throw. <laughs> I know Solomon said I know Nate would throw her on that Albert. <laughs> I'm dead. But throw her. Her clothes off, kiss her on <laughs> We talked about that yesterday. How did po- po- Curtis and Portia do their love in the afternoon? I'm still confused. I love- <laughs> oh, yeah, Danny Bear, you missed that yesterday. I gave a detailed explanation of how that happened. I can't. <laughs> wow, I can't. Nate would throw his back up, back out, carrying her up the stairs. God damn. Yo, I'm dead. <laughs> Taking a mother child is one of the tropes for soap operas. Nate, <laughs> yo, I'm dead. First of all, Derby, you go in the house for that. Did Portia do all the work? Oh, yeah, I explained it yesterday, but it looks like I got to explain it again. Even though I could I could save this for our collab, but I could say it now. See how it is, Danny Bear. Portia, see, Curtis had to stay in that one spot. Um... And Portia had to do all the work, so he just so she just had to she had to pull it pull it up real quick because you know them legs ain't working. So she, all she had to do she just had to pull it just like that, and then they just had to stay in that one one spot while she just had to bounce back and forth, back and forth with that one thing. That's how Portia. That's how Portia had to get it done. That's how Portia had to get it done. Is they had to stay in that one spot to keep to keep the. <laughs> That's how they got it done, okay? I probably did it better yesterday. <laughs> You'd be the first one for that violet crack. And then we get three minutes. <laughs> oh, 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 I did that yesterday. I did that even better yesterday. That was funny. AJ Franco, Michael, Nicholas, Nina, Silas, Spencer, Tony, and Victor were all baby stealers, big whoops. Okay, and if they all fell off a and if they all rob a bank, should we all rob a bank too? You wrong. Tracy threw me on the couch in this old ceiling. I'm sure Portia was fine with it. She's been practicing with her dildos. Uh-huh. That was the first time in a minute. But you know they had to stay in that one spot. I'm just saying. And you had to take it nice and slow. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. You had to sit, she had to sit on it real quick.
But at least she don't got to worry about getting pregnant. Now I want to see. <laughs> now I want Tracy, me and Tracy together. Yes, I'll be some hot love making. <laughs> Even though Derby is mean, he said he would throw his back out. That ain't right. That ain't right. Just don't let Ashley see any of this. She's already losing it. Tracy and Nate ain't making it to the second floor with all that action. I think Portia might have a baby. Well, she could have one. Mm -mm. Who really wants to see Portia get pregnant and have a baby? Raise your hands if you want Portia to have a baby. Or speak your piece if you want Portia Robinson from General Hospital to have a baby. If Carly had one, Portia could have one. Jessica said, not me. Exactly. To be kind, who, woman who plays Tracy, please don't take offense. We are joking. At least I am. You are a nice, petite woman who isn't that even that heavy. Exactly. She ain't that heavy. She well put together. She's well put together. I give it that. I don't want any more baby storylines or GH for at least five years. That is what we are going for. If Carly had one, then Portia can have one. Yeah, that was the one time I sort of liked Jocelyn when Jocelyn said, um, aren't you a little old to be pregnant? <laughs> she said that straight up to Carly. I was laughing my ass off. She said exactly what we were thinking. Aren't you a little old to be pregnant? <laughs> Nate saying to Tracy, come here, woman, give me some of that big, <laughs> not that big leaven. I'm dead. Ow, ow, ow. Not the big loving. <laughs> it's about time for an accidental pregnancy storyline. We just got flooded for a bit. Mm -mm. Now, they can settle with those baby storylines because my thing is baby storylines are supposed to cause good drama. I mean, we already got this stupid Christina thing. Just because people kidnap innocent babies from their mothers and fathers doesn't necessarily... Okay, okay, okay. Them evil, good people do it all the time. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. Yeah. Got to stop. Mm-mm. I got you, Bumblebee. We got you. You enable Spencer. That's your right. That's your opinion. I said all opinions are welcome. So we'll just leave it at that. Danny got like three, three babies. Chase in Brooklyn and Sasha and Cody and Maxie and Spin. Spin. I think Miss Bumblebee is Spencer in disguise. Oh, oh, oh. I wouldn't be surprised if she ends up with a picture of, of Spencer. Seriously, Nate and Tracy have more class than to do it on the Abbott couch. They go inside Nate's car and get it on. As long as we see when he clips her bra off, okay? That's the scene I'm paying for, okay? I would raise your hand. Who would pay for Nate and Tracy's only fan club? I would be a paying member of the only fans for Tracy and Nate. I would pay for it exactly. <laughs> Carly is the chief baby stealer of GH. She kept so many kids away from their their dads over the years. Exactly. But if Tracy Abbott and Nate Haston make an OnlyFans page, sign me up. I want it. I want in. I want in. Because that will be amazing. Hey, and let's get okay, Victor and Nikki while we at it. I don't think so. <laughs> I do not think so. That is just something I do not want to see. But Nate and Tracy, ooh, that'd be hot. You know, Solomon, you're doing something that DC couldn't do in years. You're making me like Nate right now. Just the idea of that is making me like Nate right now, okay? 
Tracy's a such a sweet lady. Nate will turn her into a dirty girl. She'll be a dirty, nasty girl. Woo hoo hoo. I know they'll be hot together. I'm just saying. <laughs> Kyrie's Tracy in sexy underwear. Woo. Woo, don't make me at the. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So. Since Darby gave me such a great idea about Tracy in her underwear, I'm going to call this stream a night. Have a great night, everybody. This tomorrow, um, me and Danny Bear 87 at 10 p.m. Eastern. Tracy will be singing, Touch My Body. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see that. But yeah, good night, Darby. Good night, Danny Bear. Good night, Becky. Good night, Gemini. Good night, Cat Lady. Good night, my gorgeous Queen Jessica Love. Good night, Spider Quake. Good night, Solomon. And good night, everybody else. This has been a very, oh, and good night, Miss Bumblebee. Good night, Candy. Ray, I believe. No, or Miss Ray or something like that. But you know who you are. You're the Young and the Restless fan. You have my heart. Um, you're good people. And good night, everybody else. Yes, we will see you tomorrow night. Have a great night. Peace.